Hello students, welcome back to another session of math class. In our previous class, we have discussed about the isosceles triangle and we were continuing with exercise 7.2. So, let us continue with the other sums of exercise 7.2. We'll start with sum number 3 that says ABC is an isosceles triangle in which altitudes BE and CF are drawn to equal sides AC and AB respectively. Show that these altitudes are equal. Okay. So, the diagram is given in your book. Let me draw the diagram first. So, students, I have drawn the diagram as it is given in your book. Okay. So, ask for the question. B and C F are drawn to equal sides A C and A B respectively. Okay, so A B C is a isosceles triangle in which A B is equal to A C. It is given that A B is equal to A C. Fine, and B and C F are altitudes. Okay, drawn to equal sides A C and A B. So B is, is drawn on AC and CF is drawn on AB. Fine. So, what we need to prove? We have to show that these altitudes are equal. So, to prove BE is equal to CF. So, let us think how can we prove that BE is equal to CF? So, we can prove it if we can prove that triangle AEB and triangle CFA are equal. Then we can prove that BE is equal to CF. Fine. Or else if we can prove that triangle BFC and triangle BEC are equal, then also we can prove that CF and BE are equal being corresponding sides of congruent triangles. So, let us go for triangle BFC and triangle BEC. So, in triangle BFC and triangle BEC, angle FBC is equal to angle E, C, B. Why? They are equal in value because they are the angles opposite to the equal sides of the isosceles triangle. Fine. Then angle B, F, C is equal to angle B, E, C. Why? Because they are 90 degree each. They are the altitude. So, the value is 90 degree. What else? BC, it is common. Okay, BC is common. So, now we have two angles on the side which are equal to each other in these two triangles. So, we can say that triangle BFC is congruent to triangle BEC. Okay, triangle BFC is congruent to triangle BEC. By which rule of congruency? Yes, by AAS congruency. So, two angles and one of the sides are equal to each other. So, they are congruent triangles. So, as they are congruent triangles, that means C F is equal to B E C P C T. So, we have proved that B E is equal to C F. Okay. Hope you understood it. Let us go for the next question. Fine. Students, question 4 says A B C is a triangle in which altitudes B and C F to sides A C and A B are equal. The diagram is given in your book and I have also drawn the same diagram. Now, what the question demands? It says that show 
triangle AB is congruent to triangle ACF and AB is equal to AC that means ABC is an isosceles triangle. We need to go for the proof of two bits. So, let us concentrate on the data. The given data says that BE is equal to CF. It is given. And what else? They are the altitudes. So, angle BFC is equal to angle BEC that is 90 degree. Fine. So, let us prove to prove. First, triangle ABE, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. Okay. ABE is congruent to triangle ACF. Second one, AB is equal to AC. Fine. Let us prove. So, in triangle ABE and triangle ACF, let us concentrate. Fine. In these two triangles, as these are the altitudes, angle AFC is equal to angle AEB because they are 90 degree. Fine. Angle BAC that is a common angle. Fine. What else? It is given that BE is equal to CF. It is given. So, we have two angles, corresponding angles equal to each other and two corresponding sides, they are also equal to each other. That means, we can say that, so, triangle ABE is congruent to triangle ACF by AAS congruency. Fine. So, as these two triangles are congruent, now we can say that that implies AB is equal to AC by CPCT. So, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC, that means triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. In this way, we have proved that triangle AB is congruent to triangle ACF as well as triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. Hope you have understood. Okay, students, let us discuss question number 5. It says, ABC and DBC are two isosceles triangles on the same base BC. You can see the figure given in your book and it says that show angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. The diagram is given in your book. Let me draw the diagram first, then we will discuss the answer. Okay? Students, I have drawn the figure as it is given in your book. So, as per the given data, triangle ABC and triangle BDC, they are two isosceles triangle. Okay. And we need to prove that angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. That means this angle ABD should be equal to angle ACD. Fine. So, <coughs> given it is given that triangle ABC and triangle BDC are isosceles triangles BC is the common base and to prove angle ABD 
is equal to angle A C D. So let us prove it. In triangle A B C angle A B C is equal to angle A C B. Given. In triangle B D C angle D B C is equal to angle D C B. It is also given. Why? Because both are isosceles triangle. So, angles equal to the equal sides are also equal to each other. So, from 1 and 2, we can see that these angles, they actually lie on B C. See? Angle A B C and D B C, okay, they are around angle A B D. So, they are forming actually. So, if we add both these angles, then I can get A B D. So, from 1 and 2, okay. Angle ABC plus angle DBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB. Angle ABC plus angle DBC is equal to angle ACB plus angle DCB. Fine. As these angles are equal to each other, so if I sum up the corresponding angles or corresponding parts, so those will be equal to each other as well. So what they give me? They give me angle ABD and angle ACD. So that implies angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. This was needed to be proved. So, we have proved that angle ABD is equal to angle ACD. Hope you have understood. Okay. Students, let us discuss question number 6. Okay. It says triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC. Side BA is produced to D such that AD is equal to AB. The figure is given in your book and the question asks that show angle BCD is a right angle. Fine. So, we will prove it. Before that, let me draw the diagram. Okay. Students, I have drawn the diagram as it is given in your book. So, let us concentrate on the triangles. There are three triangles, isn't it? Triangle ABC, triangle ACD and triangle BCD. So, as per the question, BA is produced which meets at D, okay, such that A D is equal to A B. Fine, A D is equal to A B. So, it is given, what is given? A B is equal to A C, okay, and A B is equal to A D. So, I can write that A B is equal to A D is equal to A so, let us concentrate on triangle ABC and triangle ACD. In triangle ABC, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Fine. In triangle CAD, angle ACD is equal to angle C D A. So, by adding the corresponding parts of both these triangles, so by adding corresponding parts of triangle A B C and triangle C A D, what we get? Angle A B C 
plus angle CDA is equal to angle ACB plus angle ACD. That means angle ABC plus angle CDA is equal to what this gives us ACB plus ACD gives us angle BCD. So, angle ABC plus angle CDA is equal to angle BCD. Fine. Now, let us concentrate on triangle BCD. Okay. So, in triangle BCD, angle DBC plus angle BCD plus angle CDB is equal to 180 degree. Sum of angles of a triangle. Okay. So, I can write down DBC as ABC. So, that implies angle ABC plus angle CDB plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Fine. Angle ABC plus angle CDB. So, CDB can also be represented as CDA. So, it implies that angle ABC plus angle CDA plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Now, we can substitute angle ABC plus angle CDA as angle BCD from equation 3. So, angle BCD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. Why? Because angle ABC plus angle CDA is equal to angle BCD. That means, what we have found? 2 angle BCD is equal to 180 degree. That implies angle BCD is equal to 180 degree divided by 2 that is 90 degree. So, we have proved that angle BCD is equal to 90 degree. That means angle BCD is a right angle. Okay? In this way, we have proved that angle BCD is a right angle. Hope you have understood. Students, let us discuss question number 7. What it says? ABC is a right angle triangle in which angle A is equal to 90 degree and AB is equal to AC. Find angle B and angle C. Let me draw the diagram first, then we will discuss the solution. Fine. Students, as per the given data, I have drawn the diagram. As per the data given, AB is equal to AC and angle A is equal to 90 degree. Okay? Because it says ABC is a right angle triangle, A is equal to 90 degree. So, what are the given data? Angle A is equal to 90 degree and AB is equal to A. Fine. So, let us solve this. So, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC and that means angle ABC is equal to angle a C B. Okay. Angle A B C is equal to angle A C B. Angle B A C is equal to 90 degree. In triangle A B C, angle A B C plus angle A C B plus angle B A C is equal to 180 degree. That implies angle ABC 
plus angle ACB is equal to 180 degree minus 90 degree because angle BAC is equal to 90 degree. That implies angle ABC plus angle ACB is equal to 90 degree. But as both the angles are equal to each other, so we can say that angle ABC plus angle ABC is equal to 90 degree because angle ABC is equal to angle ACB. Hence, two angle ABC is equal to 90 degree that implies angle ABC is equal to 90 degree by 2 that is 45 degree. That implies angle ACB is also equal to 45 degree. So, hence we have proved that angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 45 degree. So, what are the values for angle B and angle C? Both have the value of 45 degree. Hope you have understood. Okay. Students, let us now discuss question number 8. It says, show that the angles of an equilateral triangle are 60 degree each. Okay. We will go for the solution. Let me draw a diagram first for the solution purpose. Okay. Students, here I have drawn an equilateral triangle ABC. So, AB, AC and BC sides have equal length. So, we need to find out what is the value of each angle. Okay. So, in triangle ABC, AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. So, let us take a pair of the sides and find out what should be the angles. Okay. So, AB is equal to AC that means angle ACB is equal to angle ABC because we know that when two sides of a triangle are equal the opposite angles are equal. Again AC is equal to BC that means angle ABC is equal to angle BAC. Same way AB is equal to BC. Okay. So, angle ACB is equal to angle BAC. That means we have we know that we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. So, here angle ABC okay, plus angle ACB plus angle BAC is equal to 180 degree. Fine. From 1, 2, 3, these 3 equation we know that these angles are equal to each other. How? See, ACB is equal to ABC and ABC is equal to BAC. Okay. ACB is equal to ABC, ABC is equal to BAC, ACB is equal to BAC. That means we know that angle ABC is equal to angle ACB is equal to angle BAC. That means they have equal value. So, we can say that as they have equal value, we can divide 180 degree by 3 to get the value of each angle. So, angle ABC is equal to angle ACB is equal to angle BAC is equal to 180 degree divided by 3 that is 60 degree. That means now we have found out that each angle of this triangle is 60 degree. Okay. So, in equilateral triangle, 
in equilateral triangle each angle is 60 degree hope you have understood okay so students in our next class we will discuss some more concepts about the triangles okay till then you practice all the questions again revise the concepts okay till then keep smiling take care thank you